Hey lovies, it's your girl Clement Soy from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mis mm -mm -mm. amores, it's your girl Clement Soy. I read cards, energy, and people to fill the oak. And this is your February, your February forecast. Okay, so we're gonna find out what all my sun, moon, rising Libras need to know, and your cross watchers too. Okay, Venus, whatever, whatever, whoever wants to watch your reading this is for true okay if it resonates please comment okay um i love to read the comments you can also tip hit my cash app or buy me a coffee i appreciate the energy exchange as we can abundance tempo over your life okay now let's get into this reading see what all my libras need to know okay what do all my libras need to know spirit for their highest and their best spirit what is the message for the libras for february so what I'm seeing is that somebody dropping a bomb on you. You dropping a bomb on somebody, okay? This could like surprise. Boom, 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 okay? Um, now these surprises could be really like powerful. This could be something you've been really praying for, okay? Um so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of miracles for you guys, a lot of like beautiful things happening, really um explosive surprises um happening for you. Okay, we have here this 10 of wands. So it feels like whatever this, this is something that's been long time coming. Okay, this is something that's been needing to happen. You put in a lot of work for this. This is not an overnight. Okay, this is not an overnight story. You put overnights in. Oh, day in, day out. Discipline. Ashe. Okay, that's what I see for you guys. All right, we have the eight of cups. You realizing that something that she was doing, you were so committed to, it's like there's a better way. Okay, there's a better way. You're, le you're releasing the old way of you used to doing things with this four of pentacles you've been holding on to something way past is due date and some of you guys it's because of your heart you've been protecting your heart chakra you haven't been wanting to be as open because i'm seeing that people could sting you okay i'm seeing like scorpion energy too because be scorpio or just this energy of getting stung out of nowhere and you're like you know what i need to move on this situation is no longer serving me there is going to be something better if i can dream it i can achieve it okay with this eight of cups, it feels like some of you guys are moving past some difficulties that have been kind of plaguing you for a minute, okay? Uh, yep, we have the nine of cups, so this is going to be so beautiful. When you move on from this eight of cups, when you see and you go on and you see what else is out there and you stop overworking, you stop overdoing, with this energy is like you get clear on where it is that you want to go your wishes be fulfilled okay we have the nine of cups so this is something happening that you have prayed a long time for this is something coming to fruition that you have called into existence and like i said this is not an overnight situation this is something you've worked a long time for we have eight nine and ten so this is the wrapping up of a cycle and i and my palms are itching so you guys could be getting an increase of money or money making opportunities or money making ideas in february your palms could be itching we have the world card so you're ending a cycle a karmic cycle a generational cycle it feels like of um letting people walk all over you it feels like of um with this energy of like carrying a lot of burdens or a lot of um you guys could be going through a lot of back pains your back could be hurting a lot as well or just your body you're waking up very sore in february we have the page of wands so i see you going after um your dreams okay you're going after some sort of inspiration okay we have the two of pentacles so i see that you're kind of going back and forth like should i do this should i not should i go for it should i not and spirit is saying yes go for it go for it. It's time to move on. It's time to let go of what is no longer serving you so you can actually have space to receive the blessings you've been praying for, the miracles you've been manifesting, okay? Some of you guys, I see when you protect your energy, when you protect your peace, when you remove yourself from situations that drain you, from situations that weigh on you, that's when you're going to be getting the most blessings. That's when you're going to be making room for the best that is yet to come. But we have the two of pentacles. I feel like you guys are doubting yourself. One minute you want to do it the next minute you don't and what i'm seeing is that you have to take a risk to get a reward you have to put yourself out there to to get what it is that you want we have the full card okay so you need to take a leap of faith 
end this cycle of overworking, of struggling, of putting all your eggs in one basket, of doing something in a specific rigid way. We have the full card, your need. This is the gener like you are literally ending something super um karmic something that you've been learning for a long time and you're ready to begin again but what i'm seeing libra is that you're being a little bit too stubborn with this four of pentacles trying to hold on to something past its due date trying to hold on to something because you're being stubborn you're, you're believing in scarcity you're believing you're you're not seeing the abundance that is your birthright okay you are not seeing that there's so much more out there for you if you're just a little bit creative if you commit to your creativity libras you're needing to commit to your creativity you're needing to take a leap of faith you're needing to see what is beyond okay with the full card you're needing to actually um do something that's a little bit out of the ordinary for you and you're needing to do something that actually puts you maybe you feel a little bit awkward you feel a little bit uncomfortable it's not your comfort zone but you don't grow in your comfort zone libra you're not going to grow you're not going to blossom you're not going to expand to the beautiful butterfly you are okay staying in your comfort zone some of you guys it's not going to make sense to other people okay because they're not you it's not going to make sense to them. You're the one that you've been waiting for. You're the one that you have been looking for, okay? Stop trying to find it out in the world when it's within. Stop trying to find it out in the world when it's within, Libra. We have the full card. You could be having an inclination and intuition to do something to jump and spirit is saying to go for it stop going back and forth it's going to be bringing you what it is that you need but don't overextend yourself what that means is that if you cannot carry it you're gonna have to let go of it if you haven't used it in more than a year you're gonna need to throw it out okay this is about decluttering this is about you know really organizing your life about in order of priorities what's important and what's not so important okay and what's not so important is like the way other people look at you. What's important is the is feeling like you're living your life, not not um, living through other people. OK, so we have the magician card. Spirit wants you to see how powerful you are, that you have the resources that you need. Like I said, you are magical manifestors here. And we have the two of cups and the knight of cups. So you guys are. Um, needing to go after something that is emotionally fulfilling to you. This says make love, not war. So doing something that is actually very healing for you is going to be really healing for other people as well. Um, Spirit wants you to know um, with this energy, it's like you have a lot of energy to call something into your existence, to call in a, a miracle, to call in that wish, okay? And make love, not war, okay? Okay. We have journey. So what I'm seeing and doctor, what I'm seeing is that it's not about the destination. Okay. It's not about how fast you get to something. If you are worried about something not happening fast enough, you're worried about the wrong thing things okay it, things happen when they need to happen with this energy of journey just enjoy the ride some of you guys need to go down a new path a new journey to get something you've never gone before we have doctors some of you guys may be needing to visit the doctors or take someone you know to the doctor some of you guys are getting really into health this could also be a mental health doctor as well or a naturopathic practitioner as well So what's blocking you? We have surrender denial, okay? You guys know what you want to do. So why are you trying to talk yourself out of it? Surrender denial and surrender to inner peace, okay? Do the thing that's going to be bringing you inner peace. Doesn't matter what other people think. This says accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Okay, so do not deny the difficulty. See things as they really truly are. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet, meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes and your life will flow more easily. They're going to feel your good vibes, okay? But you got to keep it real, okay? You got to stop trying to play yourself, okay? 
we have letting go time to release so you need to release and let go of um what has no what's not making you happy anymore okay what's not filling your cup anymore okay like i said you guys are going to be making some money we have the gold card okay this says cup of replenishment i'm seeing this as you guys um a lot pouring into your cup a lot of abundance coming into your cup you could be working with gold as well um and then we have wake up call listen and take note a lot of you guys are having that bomb drop on you it's a wake up call it's like you can't miss the signs anymore okay so i feel like that's why you're needing to take that leap of faith let go time for release i feel like you're letting go of the pressures of what other people have put on you okay um you guys are letting go. You guys are moving on from that eight of cups so you can get that nine of cups, okay? Wow. Okay, so Libras, this is your um, love card for February, okay? And what Spirit wants to convey to you is that with this energy, you're needing to live your life for you. Live your life for you. Go where your heart wants to go. Do things that you're passionate about, okay? This card says when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So don't get attached to the things that you have. Remember that everything in this existence is borrowed. It doesn't belong to you. Attachment is the root of suffering, okay? So when you're passed from this world, you're not gonna be taking with you you know, any of the material things you're going to be taking with you, the memories, okay, as well. So be mindful of that, that spirit wants you to go after the things that you love so that you can be in alignment with your authenticity. So your affirmation and spirit wants you to listen more than you talk, okay? This says, I listen with love to my body's messages. And there's an ear here. So your body's giving you a lot of messages and signs. This says, my body is always working towards optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. Ashe. So affirm this to yourself and trust in your body. Trust the messages that your body has been giving to you some of you guys that's why you have to maybe go to a doctor or get something checked out or this could be you know going again for someone else in your life okay so what i'm seeing for you libras this month of february you're gonna need to trust okay trust in the unknown okay trust in the intuition that you've been getting and focus on forgiveness forgiving yourself forgiving other people Focus and keeping your eyes on the prize, on what it is that you want to call in, on the opportunities, okay? And on delight, focusing on things that make you happy, okay? With this energy, like I'm saying, you're going to be getting a miraculous opportunity that's going to be really filling your cup, that's going to be making you feel very whole, very complete, very replenished in February. And Spirit wants you to trust, okay? Trust in it. What I'm hearing is nothing is too good for you. Nothing is too good for you, Libra. Do you believe that? Okay. Do you believe that? Okay, Libra. Drop a heart emoji if you believe that. Nothing is too good for you, Libra. Okay, we have movement. Okay, so... This month, you guys are going to need to move more than you have. This is how you're going to be tapping in with your body by spending time with your body. This could be working out, exercising, doing yoga, doing breath work, stretching. Okay, this is going to help you to move the energy. We have burning bowl rituals. So you might be wanting to um, do a bay leaf spell, work with fire. What are you ready to release? Okay, and burn it. Okay, as it burns, imagine that that what which you are releasing is disintegrating we have journal so when you have these creative ideas when you have these downloads from spirit make sure you're journaling them so you do not forget them okay and tend to your body's needs we have massage and soak in a bath you could be feeling extra sore this month so make sure that you are massaging yourself getting massages if you can or soaking your body 
in a salt soak in a spiritual bath as well to remove any density and help you feel a little bit lighter okay so that is your message my loves if it resonates with you please comment okay i love to read the comments you can also tip hit my cash app or buy me a coffee i appreciate the energy exchange and if you can abundance and fall over your life bye